So hello everyone, in this video we will be deploying our application to the LightSail instance. Uh, now what I wanted to tell you is that in the first video I forgot to uh, like I by mistake uh, deployed my front-end code only uh, to the GitHub. So make sure you, you are uh, successfully deploying all the code to the GitHub repository which we created. Uh, in my case this is this one. So all my code is deployed there. And make sure you don't deploy this env file because this is a very secure file we don't want it to be uh, publicly available in our repository because that's a, that, that's a very secret file so you can uh, sometimes we had api keys and other things uh, like you can see uh, i have this db url which is very important although i'll be deleting all uh, this uh, atlas pro project so people will won't be able to connect because i'm showing this thing but you ha you don't have to show these things in your like production right so we'll be creating manually in the production this env file so that's the case so you don't have to push this env file and uh, not modules folders will be uh, doing that now what I wanted to tell you is uh, make sure your, your code is up to date and deployed to the github repository because from here we will be uh, cloning our repository inside our instance. So this instance is basically a virtual machine kind of thing in which we can basically run our uh, Linux commands and uh, deploy our code. Now what I wanted to tell you is in this is my uh, Mon Codesart's dashboard instance and in this uh, we have this terminal uh, icon in which I can open my terminal and I would like to show you that I have already created other apps and they are running inside this. So you can see I have these many apps which are running successfully. Now I would like to create one more one more app for this to do app let me just create ls and I would like to go to htdocs you can see we have these many uh, apps now I would like to create a simple directory uh, let's say to do now I would like to show you that to do let's go to to do now I would like to clone my repository from here which is this one I can copy it and I can paste it here make sure git is installed globally in your in your virtual machine you can install git uh, easily by using some Linux commands I will not be guiding you that I am just focusing on the cloning part so let's do that you can see we have successfully imported now you can see we have dodo dodo is our application now if i go to dodo and if i do ls you can see i have the application which is server.js and other things but i don't have the env file so i'll be creating a simple env file uh, by using nano editor so i can create nano.env so this .env file will contain my all the uh, configuration which is basically these things so I'll be copying all these things and pasting that inside this env file so I can paste it you can see we have it now I can simply write out con by pressing ctrl o and then pressing enter you can see we have this uh, message called rot file lines which means we have successfully written our file and if I do control X and now if I again uh, let, let's let's just clear the screen and if I do again nano dot env I should be able to see all the these things now make sure uh, this 5000 port is available to you uh, otherwise we won't be able to run this application on 5000 port because uh, on 5000 I'm already running some other applications as I told you that I have other applications running on different ports so I have to make sure that uh, this uh, 5000 port is available to me so 
let me just uh, see that from my instance by going inside the instance and by going inside the networking part you can see uh, the ports which you have uh, like opened you can see we have these many ports opened and they are being used so what I can do is I can create another rule which is uh, creating add rule and then I can specify the port that I would like to use let's use uh, 5800 let me just create a rule for that uh, if you don't create any rule here so that port won't be available to you or that port uh, you cannot use for your application so you have to make sure that now I can uh, again edit my env file by going into the uh, nano editor I can specify the uh, port number which was 5800 and I can write it back I can go back again and you can see we have server.js and uh, the env file is not shown ls-a let me just write you can see we have this env file as well if I do dash a so it shows all the hidden files as well in Linux now if I just uh, you can see we don't have any node modules folder so we can install our uh, packages by clicking on npm install make sure npm and not js is inst already installed in your uh, bitnami uh, light sale instance you can uh, go over the google and search for that how you can install not js and that should be uh, added and make sure you also go inside the client directory cd client and you can also see if that is available here no it's not available now I'll be uh, doing npm install here as well because we also need a uh, node modules folder inside this as well so we'll be doing that so this will take uh, a little bit time and then uh, our application will be good to go and then we can easily start our application by using a PM2 package or a forever package let me just show you one one thing and then we'll be showing the another thing let me just pause this video so it doesn't take much time So as you can see uh, our packages are installed I can clear that and I can go back to my server folder and I can simply run npm start so I'm running uh, locally first and then uh, let me just show you okay so what is that not server dot js fail to do app okay uh, 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 uh. maybe something is wrong Auth controller is not found. Okay, it sometimes happens because because of the naming convention. I know auth controller. So let me just go to the controller folder. Less. Okay, so it's asking for uh, capital A. It's finding for capital auth controller, but I have auth controller in uh, like in smaller keys. So that's why I think it is having some problem so let's uh, rename, uh, rename that by using the command so instead of renaming uh, because uh, we are using uh, github so let's change it in our server file like in our code because that makes more sense uh, now what I will do is I can simply remove this capital A to smaller A because that way we can manage everything at one place like uh, we'll, we just need to be uh, just need to be add git commands so if I just get add git add uh, git commit 
we can add message and fixed the name of controller file and then that will be it if I just push it Oh, sorry it's origin master yeah that's it now I can simply use a git pull command so I can write uh, okay let me just go back okay so git get oh sorry chain directory if I just write get pull that should do okay now if I go to controllers and I see oh no no not in the controllers it's in routes so chain directory uh, routes and nano oh let me just add ls here first so ls nano auth route so we can see the changes if that is made yeah you can see we have auth controller in smaller case so now it's working now let me just uh, start my application uh, by going inside the to do main server and I can start it by using npm start you can see we have successfully running uh, our DB and our server now what I can do is I can simply open it with the help of this API so this IP sorry I can type this IP in a browser anywhere I can specify uh, the part which is 5800 and I should be able to see my application you can see we have our application but one thing is wrong here because in our application we will not be able to make request to uh, localhost because remember we didn't change something in the client folder we are still making request to uh, let me just go show you that we are still making request to localhost 5000 but 5000 is uh, is not available right so 5000 is not there so that's why we won't be able to register any user because that server will not be available and if I just show you that in practical let me just write something and let me just show you the networking part as well later we can also add a domain to this uh, like light sale uh, address but that is a different thing we'll just be hosting it you can see uh, we are having network error why is that because we didn't change this uh, localhost 5000 api register it's still making a request to this uh, localhost 5000 so that will be changing in the next video and we'll be starting our app one more issue let me just tell you one more issue that is if i just uh, close this uh, terminal let's say if i uh, this is running right if I close this terminal so I wouldn't be able to access our application you can see I'm getting error right so this is the case so in the next video we'll be fixing all these problems uh, basically two problems and then we'll be good to go and our app will be running so let's meet in the next video thank you for watching